Shout out to Paige Beckers. All right, so 11.17 p.m. Eastern time. Haha, <laughs> switch on the dot. You saw that. That's why I round up, nigga. 11.17 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday, September 21st, 2024. Chad Xavier Harrison recording live from ATL GA USA, Old National Highway, a.k.a. Dirty Ass Net. Dirty Ass. Dirty, dirty net, nigga. Anyway, so... It's been a little minute since we made a video. We've been in the booth just cooking up sauce. We're whipping up that sauce on the charts. Whipping up chart sauce, right? We've been studying hard. Trading live on the live account. FS Sway Trade Locker Platform. FS Sway Broker for American Traders. And, okay, so let's go to our photos right we got it already these are all the pictures from yesterday that i'll show you live charts in a second but i got out all my old data from all these weeks of no videos and stuff uh on my pictures so i want to just go through that real quick that's why i take the picture so whenever i do do a video i can just go straight to the uh to the screenshots and just roll scroll through them and explain them so this one right here investing.com dax that's de30 or d40 this is it doesn't say it right there but it's one of them d30 or d40 the futures chart for dats the german stock market and that's one of my favorite pairs to trade now i figured out the code for the american index pairs they're gonna follow dax they're gonna follow this chart right here this is the master chart for the index pairs so at least for the american index pairs so whether or not you trade DATS, if you trade NASDAQ, US 100, which is NASDAQ, or US 500, Standard and Poor, SB 500, SPS, or SPY, or Dow Jones, or whatnot, this is what you want to use. If you go to investing.com, you go to technical charts, you click five hour, and you look right here at the summary. Basically, the summary was saying strong buy. That means you got to buy it. Boom. So if you're looking at the NASDAQ charts and the the SPY charts, Dow charts, if any of those say red or any time frame, you buy that. You buy that. You buy that. As long as the five-hour summary for DATS futures chart says strong buy. Um, I use the futures chart because it doesn't close, and you always kind of want to use the futures chart if they have a futures chart for that pair. So, boom, the five-hour would have switched on Friday or Thursday. Thursday or Friday, it would have switched over from strong buy to light buy. That means it's oscillating to the left now, which is going towards the sell. It's going to go from strong buy to buy, from buy to neutral, from neutral to sell, from sell to strong sell, then from strong sell to sell. At that point, you will buy it up again from strong sell to sell because the, I can't scroll down because this is the picture, but the, and I don't, I didn't take another picture of the full chart, right? So this is my trading name, Dark Trader SBR SPT. That's platinum, right? Boom. Okay. So for DATS, I called the sell for the index pairs on Thursday or Friday or whatnot. So at this point, you're just stacking sales. We're just stacking. We're just stacking sales. Like I get it now. Like you're 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 stacking in one direction. It's either going to be buys or sells. You're stacking them. though. you're stacking. Them. So in this scenario, you are stacking sales. We are stacking sales for DATS. We're stacking sales for SPY. We're stacking sales for Nasdaq, and we're stacking sales for Dow. Dow, Nas, SPY, sell, stack. That's that's nice Dow spy sell stack. We stacking sales, buddy. You stack them buys if you want to. <laughs> you stack them buys if you want to, nigga. It's done. You're done for. You're gonna cook yourself. Nigga, you better. <laughs> so move on to the next picture. I started doing binary options again. And when I was doing binary options before, you all loved those videos. You all liked the binary options. You know what I'm saying? That's like the strip club. You know, oh, she's shaking right in his face. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all love the binary. And it's like, okay, my history with binary is that I started trading regular foreign currency, MetaTrader platform type deals in june of 2018 right fast forward to about september 2021 that's the first time i got on the binary options right i signed up for pocket options this is pocket options so i've been signed up with them since 2021 september boom at that point i stopped trading on metatrader i just traded on on binary for a whole year then i stopped went back to metatrader and then haven't messed with binary since for about two years so from like i we could say somewhere around September 2022 until, what's it, it's September 2024. 
Now, when I came out of rehab, I, I realized when I checked my emails, I wasn't really checking my emails in there, but when I checked my emails, I realized they were sending me a bunch of bonuses. Your $5 bonus, you know, gift deposits, just giving me $5 to play with. So eventually I would act, try to activate them. It took me a minute to realize how to activate it, and then I figured it out. I was having trouble activating them. I was like, how is it working? It wouldn't always work. So whenever it would work and they would give me the five, I'll mess around with them. All right, you gave me the five, I'll, I'll just mess around with it. And I'll start using the demo to start training. I had to contemplate if I was going to get back into that mode of training on binary. Like, am I going to take it serious and do some demo testing and try to figure this out? Like, I couldn't really figure it out. But I did well with it, though. Like, But there were some hiccups I would have eventually. So my method for binary would be I would place four hour trades because the minimum trade is 15 seconds and the maximum trade is four hours so i would just always go with the whole four hour trade because you only have to win by one point so i figured four hours would give you enough time to win by one point as long as you're in the right direction with the trend so boom that was my theory and then from there i would do pretty well with that with that thinking but occasionally eventually you would have a 15 minute wave go against the five hour wave so you're looking at the four hour chart trying to place a four-hour trade and then the 15 minute wave move against that that color the four hour could be green and the 15 minute go red and you didn't really realize that because you're looking at the four hour and then the 15 minute go against you so now your next four hour trade is going to be you know red in that scenario and then boom you know you're done for it congratulations you cooked yourself so you know so they sent me a bonus like earlier this week they sent me two of them and then I saw it on Wednesday night. I had just crashed my live account. I had nothing in there. I'm all like, damn, I'm trying to get in the game. I'm praying to God. Yo, God, please, you know what I'm saying? Looking at God with a prospect, you feel me? So, you know, he did that. Checked my email. They said I got $5 in there for a bonus. I'm like, let me see if they let me activate. I went there. Boom, boom. I got activated. I was like, yo, thank you, God. Let's go. All right, I'll take it. Hey, look, God, I'll take it. How you throw it? I'll catch it out wherever you throw it, God. It is what it is. So, boom. Get in there. It's like Wednesday night. What I do? I did a four-hour trades. What was my strategy? What What did I do? I was like, all right, I like to do four-hour trades. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demo test it for an hour, and then I'm gonna follow the winner. I'm gonna go both ways in the demo, red and blue, and then I'm gonna come back in an hour, see who the winner is. I'm gonna follow that for like two hours, and that worked. I did two successful tries. I did it at 10 p.m., the 10 p.m. candle, because the four-hour candle is open at 2, 6, and 10 p.m. and a.m. So, excuse me, I got in Wednesday night, 10 p.m. Did uh, what pairs did I do? I went with platinum. SPT, I went with platinum. I chose to do platinum. I was normally doing WTI crude and gold on the binary for the most part. Those are my most common. But I did do Amazon back when I was working at Amazon in November of 2021 when Amazon was like between $2,800 and $3,000 and the spread was like, not the spread, but the wave, you know, the pip count of the wave, the wave was worth like $2,000. So it would just move $2,000 in, in, in a trade or something. So I would have enough time to get that one point. So I was on that. Then they, then they uh, did like a reverse split on the shares or something, and then the price went down, and then the spread now, the wave is like not cool at all, so I won't even do that no more until they fix whatever they got going on. So anyway, what I do after that, um, I did the 10 p.m. SPT trade, I went to sleep, and then I woke up at like 5 p.m. maybe the next day or something six o'clock or something i did another trade no i did it at two o'clock i did a 2 p.m trade on platinum xpt successful so i did two successful then i tried again at 2 a.m and then it crashed because i tried to whatever i did was the opposite of what it was doing i i got caught by baba yaga right so we're going to talk about baba yaga baba yaga is what they call john wick so that's what i call the the whole process of the wick process of just so i've been switching my consciousness to being more wick conscious like looking for the wick knowing the wick is coming you know the professionals are going to pin their interest towards wicks they're going to pin their interest to a wick you got to find a wick a wick is like the candle's green and it's going up and then a wick is created because it goes red and then you know like red comes and then 
like on the four hour candle, you're looking at four hour candle and it's green, right? Then the 15 minute go red, that's gonna create a wick because now that green body is gonna have a, a, a wick attached to it now. And then the 15 minute go back green and blast it back up or vice versa. So that's what I call Baba Yaga. That's the boogeyman, that's the crash out or the cash out. If you're in the proper position, then that wick is gonna get you paid. If you're not, that wick is gonna get you laid out on the ground with a gun in your face, giving you a bad nigga. Shouldn't known it wasn't this sweet. Say Halloween, nigga. Tricks, just treats, right? Anyway, so it rhymed, right? So anyway, so okay, so I'm trying to catch you up to date on that. So after the two a.m. crash, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna trade it in the morning anymore. If I do, let me reverse the equation. Instead of doing a one-hour test and a two-hour trade, let me do a two-hour test and a one-hour trade, right? I tried that, and it's like, and I think it worked like one time. And then the second time, like, because this is when I was realizing, like, okay, I got to go to the 15 minute chart because that's going to let me know where the wick is. That's, I can see the four hour chart. I can see the four hour candle. I know it's green or it's red, but if it's a green four hour candle and that 15 minutes start going red, I need, you know what I'm saying? I, I like, I need to know that, I, you know, I'm safe and I'm only going to be safe following that 15 minute. That's the wick. That's the Baba Yaga. So. That was the epiphany I was having, the revelations, the spiritual awakenings I was having. So so that's what I went with, right? So fast forward, like that's basically where I met with it now, right? So I'm gonna get ready to explain the strategy for you. So this is the first picture right here. This is most likely the contest or something. The contest, no, this is not the contest. This would be the demo because you see SP and WT. I was just testing different pairs, right? Oh, oh, you scared me, Q. Um, okay, so let me see. Where's the other, where's the other freaking picture in here? Oh, I, I went there already. All right, so this would be the demo test, right? Boom, this would be my live account. This was when, like, um, before I crashed it, like, I had, like, $3 left or $4 left. I did a WTI crew buy, boom, that's the, you know, like, this must have been at, like, 2 a.m. or 6 a.m. or something, and I went to sleep, and I woke up, and it was, it was like I might have been like 2 a.m. or whatever and woke up later and then I saw it worked right but then the next day which was probably like two days ago I would have went into like a cell or yesterday or something I would have went into like a cell twice I tried to sell it twice man at like seven o'clock I did a six o'clock demo test the cell was winning then at seven I tried to sell for like two hours. It didn't work. Then at ten PM I tried to sell again. I had two dollars left because I had the seven. I put five on the line, it didn't work, had two left. Put that on the line for the sell. Boom, it didn't work. And that's when I was like, all right, I just gotta go back to the drawing board and just kinda revamp the strategy to revise it towards like what I see now, what I'm looking for with the fifteen minute wave. So that's when I sat down. It was last night, ten o'clock. I told myself, I said, Hey, I'm gonna crack this tonight. I'm gonna figure this out tonight. I'm not gonna stop and go to sleep until I figure this out. I just made that commitment. I was like, that's what it is. That's what we're gonna do. So I didn't figure it out until 2 a.m. from 10 p.m. So it took me four hours, one exactly the four hour candle between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. Those are four hour candles. So it took me between the 10, 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. four hour candle to figure it out. So I'm gonna get ready to, to explain what I'm doing once I get there in the picture. So boom, pass through this one. Boom, it worked. This was the beginning of the trade. Boom. Then this was like the next one. This was when I tried to sell it, bro. And then it just shot up on me, bro. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm out the game. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it was, you know what I'm saying? Or or soon I was about to go through that, right? So what's the other picture? Okay, so this is my profit and loss on a live account, right? This is showing the trades I had made. Like, that I was walking you through. Okay, I started with Platinum. I did the buy. Then I did the Amazon for 83%. You know, Platinum was paying 47%. Then I went for Amazon, 83%. Made the 13. I said, I ain't messing with them no more because they only won by 70 points. I ain't about to do that. We ain't going there. Even though that might have been cool. That might have been cool. I might still do that. But, you know, because they, they pay 83%. But Platinum, uh, but Crew pays 82 So as long as it pays 80%, that's what I was looking for. So I'll just go with Crew. I might mess with Amazon a little bit on the uh, demo to see what it's like. Get ready. And I might, I might get Amazon because I did really enjoy Amazon stock. That, I would say that's one of the best ones to trade. Back when the spread, the wave pip count was so uh, voluptuous. I don't know. I don't know. So thick, right? Thick. You could be a lady or a rich girl. 
It's still sticky, sticky, thick. Looking like a life right away for a lick, guy. It's sticky, sticky, thick. That's Nelly's first album, Country Grammar. The song's called Thicky, Thicky, Thick. Pretty much, right? Okay, where am I in the pictures? Right here. Uh, let's hurry up. Uh... Boom, this is the demo. See, this right here, the four hours are starting to sell. Finally, I caught the sell. This is when I started to figure out the strategy, right? So we're getting there. I'm about to explain it. So I put in the sales for WTI. I put in the, the demo hedge trades both ways. The sales are winning. At this point, they were getting ready to win, I believe. And then, uh, yeah, you see right there, the sales are winning. Okay, so that's what I did. And um, I was just doing that. Might have had the buy-in on here though, so that didn't work out for me. Um, oh, I put the sell in too early or whatever, so that didn't work out for me. Crashed me out two dollars. I was out the game, and then I put, I guess, on my live. I guess I did a sell, and I would have made nine dollars. I don't know what happened with that. I guess this was the beginning, but it was still buying, so I wasn't able to make it through that. But I knew the buy was coming, so I was trying to, at this point, figure out, okay, how do I time the buy? This is around the time I would have realized I need to go to the 15-minute chart. So it's my profit and loss again to show everything I did. I had a bunch of successful win rates, but I had them too messed up, so I had to revamp the strategy, and that's what I did. Boom. Now you see my chart a little different. I put the... Maybe it always had that on it. Yeah, it always had the alligator. The blue line, red line, green line, these are all one indicator called the alligator, right? It's one of my favorite indicators. I can never fully figure out how to use it. Now I have a better idea how to use it, right? If price is above the alligator, you know, you want to start looking for sales. If price is below the alligator, you want to start looking for buys, right? You know, once the price goes above the alligator, you're going to have the bearish Baba Yeager getting ready to pop up on the 15-minute. Once the price goes below the alligator, you're going to be looking for the bullish Baba Yeager to pop up on the 15-minute. What time frame is this? I can't see it. It has a timer mostly, but it's like right there. The timer's right there. I can't see what time frame this is. So now, basically... You're going to use your um, your Bobby Yeager. You're going to use your alligator. Now, this green line that's horizontal, I left it green, but that's my moving average, 200, right? So what was I using that for? Like, I'll explain it as we go along. Okay, boom. So price is, see, see right here, 30-second chart, right? So basically, price would have been above my alligator. On my, there we go, 15-minute right there. Price would have been above my 15-minute alligator, right? Now, on the binary options, I'm using the 15-minute alligator and my 30-second chart for, and my 30-second alligator for re-entry. But for my actual first entry, it's my 15-minute alligator versus my two- or three-minute bull's power and bear's power, 100, right? They, the, the default standard factory setting is going to be 13 period. So you want to change it to 100 period, bears power, bulls power, and use that for the two to three minutes. So here's how I use it. Price right here went above my 15 minute alligator, right? At that point, you see right here, price went below the 15 minute alligator and then the bullish Bobby Yeager popped up. Now price went above the 15 minute alligator. Bobby Yeager went above the... Um, 15 minute alligator and now Bobby Yeager is going to get ready to go down. At this point, you'd be waiting for the two to three minute bulls bears power to cross below zero. What I noticed on binary is that the bears power in this scenario would, would cross zero first. So you're just looking for the opposite one. Price is above the 15 minute alligator. So you're looking for the bears power on the bears power 100 on the two to three minute chart to go hit zero then you know that's going to drag the bulls power zero as well and that's your complete wave of this 15 minute alligator boom so this was the 30 second what i used this for was this would have been more like once you make this move like once the price goes above the 15 minute alligator and then the two to three minute bears power goes negative or hit zero you and you were ready to do a re-entry later on your next trade you will come to the 30 second and wait for price to go above the alligator and just sell it when it hits above the alligator. You And I would sell it for like at least an hour or two or more um, 
between one to four hours until price is at the bottom of the 15 minute alligator and then I wouldn't put any more trades in. I would go to the two to three minute and, um, and look at the bears bulls power and wait for the bulls power to cross over zero and then I would see what it's like. So that's basically basically the strategy, right? So I did end up adding another moving average. You should see that on a, on a later picture coming up soon. I added another moving average for my 30 second and well, for the 30 second, I was still using a 200, this green line on the 200, but I added another moving average to moving average 50, added that to moving average 50. And I used that for like the one minute. So it was more like when price goes above the 30 second alligator, that should be the same as the one minute 50 moving average. And then you would just recontinue that sell in this kind of motion where Bobby Yeager is above the 15 minute alligator. And then the two to three minute bull bear power goes bearish. Bears go negative, hit zero, then that's your entry. And then after that trade, if you want to re-enter, just wait for price to go above the 30 second alligator or at least hit the one minute 50 in May and you will recontinue that sell. And that's what happened right here. Price went above the 15 second alligator, I guess, and then started to tank and then boom. Okay, five second. I was just looking at the different time frames, trying to figure out right, what time frames am I gonna bounce off of. So I'm watching it, five seconds, dropping, starting to drop, right? Starting to drop. And then, um, I don't know what time frame this is. Doesn't tell me, I can't see it, it's at the corner. I wasn't scrolled all the way to the right, I guess. So let's see, it's 21 minutes in. Sorry, I'm gonna wrap this up. All right, what else we got? Price was dropping. Okay, four hour. I was just trying to pay attention to the wicking process, knowing the 15 minute was going to get ready to go bearish. Baba Yeager, Baba Yeager was about to go bearish on the 15 minute. And then I was like, all right, let me see what it's looking like on this four hour candle or whatnot. Let's start looking for a wick. All this green body about to turn into a wick or whatnot. Boom. One hour chart. Price is above the alligator. And I was just starting to wait for a red hourly candle to pop up. So I was like, I can either wait for the hourly to go red or I could just watch the 15 minute. Because once my two to three minute bears power goes negative, then I know this hourly candle about to go red. And this four hour candle that has a green body starting off following this other green body attached to a wick is going to get wicked out. John Wick is a wick right there, wick right there, wick right there, wick there, wick there, wick there, wick there. Wick there. Wick there, it's all wicked out, baby. Right? So, boom. Next one, 15 minute. I put the purple moving average. That's my 15. I really had to set for a 20. I switched it to a 15. I was just trying to see, like, where is Baba Yeager? Like, how can I tell when Baba Yeager is coming up? I was trying to figure out how to how to time Baba Yeager, how to catch Baba Yeager, right? And this is the moving average I was talking about, the 50. Because you see right there, the green one, that's the 200. This would be the 50, and that would be like the 15, obviously, because all of them are, you know, they get smaller. And then the smaller ones are above them, right? You 200, right? 50, 15, that's about right. That's how it should look, right? 15, 200, uh, 50, and then 200. This is the 15 minute. So this is the beginning of the sell. I was on my demo. I had just crashed out, waiting for this move, trying to catch this move early or whatnot. Boom, it probably shot up from there because I know it really hit like 500. If you don't see that price, it really gonna hit 78, 500 or something. So I'm not sure, but all of these sales are showing that they were in profit. And then see right there, four hour candle, got the wick on it, Bobby Yeager. So hourly got the wick on it, you know, so so everything I was saying it worked. I don't, I didn't add the bears bulls at this point. so. Price probably shot up to 78.50 when I realized I needed the Bears Bulls one there. Boom. So I keep going so I see the Bears Bulls. See, yeah, this is when I was trying to figure out. I was like, hey, let me try the MACD. I was like, nah, that ain't really. I could, though. I was going to wait for the 15 minute or the 5 minute MACD histogram lines to go under zero. This would have been the 2 minute. So we're starting to do it, but it wasn't done yet. I think it's about to blast up at this point. See, themselves didn't work with the two dollars because it blasted up. It's getting ready to blast up to uh, five hundred or something. 
See, like I said, 78, 500. So I, all I had to do is just buy it, bro. I could have bought it for like three hours, four hours, and I would have been good. Been able to catch that sale and been been in the game still. But I, I learned, so it is what it is, right? This is when it happened right here. This is when it happened right here. I can't see the time. There we go, 154. 154 a.m. Eastern time. That's just when I figured it out. I said, hey, at 10 o'clock, I'm going to sit down and figure this out. So what all them pictures you just saw was me figuring it out. 2 a.m., I figured it out, right? Boom, okay. So let's stop recording real quick and come right back since we figured it out.